Now, your 2 News Oklahoma weather, sponsored by Executive Homes. We have more active weather on the way over the next couple of days. It is that time of year, so starting with later tomorrow night, not including our forecast area out towards OKC. That's only a level one out of five, but especially in throughout far western Oklahoma. But then Monday, we really need to pay attention because we have two rounds coming in. One early in the morning, catching a break around the middle part of the day, and then maybe late in the afternoon, especially Monday night, we could see some more strong to severe storms. So as of now, the SPC or the Storm Prediction Center has highlighted OKC and the Tulsa area up towards Kansas, including our viewers in Coffeyville. That's a level three out of five, that enhanced risk. And then down towards McAllister and Fort Smith, that's only a level one out of five. All modes of severe weather certainly possible, including large hail, damaging gusty winds, and maybe some tornadoes into the mix. We have a break on Tuesday, which will be great, but then Wednesday and Thursday, our area is highlighted once again for strong to severe storms, at least the possibility of those occurring. A live look now from the Tulsa International Airport. This is all part of Wade's RV weather camera network and some fair weather cumulus clouds into the mix that will melt away over the next couple of hours. Clear skies in our forecast overnight tonight. Our daytime high today was 76 that morning low at 57 westerly winds between about 10 and 15 miles per hour in McAllister 76 degrees 75 in Oak Mulgee and also into the mid 70s around Muskogee and also in the Tahlequah area on future track radar and the cloud cover tonight as I mentioned we'll see clear skies but then increasing clouds in from the west tomorrow on your Sunday as that system approaches the area but then you can see here by early Monday morning an increasing chance of showers and storms again some of this activity could be strong to severe again this is very early in the morning and we get kind of a break for the middle part of the day and then the main cold front comes down from the northwest here a very similar situation to what we had last night so that traveling in from the northwest going off towards the southeast and along this line we could see some strong to severe activity again very similar to what we experienced last night with some of those tornado warnings across Pawnee and Osage counties and a lot of those severe thunderstorm warnings tonight quiet conditions were down to 49 degrees the winds becoming northerly between about 5 and 10 miles per hour lows into the 40s and to the low 50s a little bit warmer down towards the south and southeast including Stigler and Poto right around 50 degrees Daytime highs tomorrow into the 70s to the lower 80s. It looks like the warmest air will be around OKC, down towards McAllister, and out towards Stigler and Poto easily into the low 80s. 78 degrees in Tulsa, partly cloudy skies with a variable wind direction, only between about 5 and 10. Your latest 10-day forecast, again, that strong to severe activity on Monday, catching that break on Tuesday right at 70, partly cloudy. Planning your day tomorrow, no worries tomorrow. It looks fantastic. Your extended forecast here for Wednesday and Thursday, the possibility of more strong to severe storms. Temperatures into the 70s the whole week. As of now, next weekend looks pretty quiet.